Okay, hey, this is uh, Reptile with iPods 22, and I haven't done a video in a while, um, at least like a good one, um, like a real one, I should say. Okay, so I just got this new backpack, um, pretty psyched about it, it's really nice. I'm just going to do a quick review of it, um, especially because there's only one other review um, on YouTube of this backpack, and uh, all the other North Face bags seem to have a lot of videos on them, except for this one. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go into it. Um, I'm filming on my iPad right now, which has a really, like, small viewing angle, like a really low viewing range, so, um, I have to, like, go over there and sit next to the, the bag, because if I was bad on my iPad, I couldn't reach the bag, because it's about two arms length away, um, even though it looks closer. And, whoops, I'm going to turn this off. Sorry about that, let's go. Alright, so here's the Surge backpack. I'm going to quickly just put some stats like right up on the screen, um, take a look at them, and yeah, it's $130. Um, so it's pretty expensive, just putting that out there. Um, keep that in mind. Anyway, um, front of the bag, got some good pouch space. It's the back. I'm going to make this quick at the store. Um, they gave us this little keychain thing. Put a key at the end of it. A nice string. You know, if you're wearing the bag, you don't want to have to uh, go into your pocket to get your keys out, which is dangling right here. Shut you right out at the door. Easy as that. So I like that. Um, I had to buy this at the uh, one in the city, the North Face store in the city, because I wanted this color, and uh, they didn't have it online. So it wasn't a big deal. You know, it's just on the subway, quickly get it. There you go. Um, start in the front. There's these two. V pouches, um, and by the way, in this color scheme, it has a blue inside, hope you can see that, um, which I actually really like. Anyway, so, yeah, this is the front one, um, which is a little bit smaller, goes out to about here, and, uh, you know, you can put anything in there, snacks, headphones, kind of accessories and stuff, even like a book, like a reading book, not like a binder, really, see, it's about as wide as my hand, so you couldn't really fit like a binder in there, and this is the back pouch, it's a little bit bigger, it goes all the way around here. Uh, same general stuff, you know, could, still couldn't really fit a binder, but there you go. Um, what else? Up at the top, right here, this is something that was important to me. Um, a little case with a uh, padding inside. This is like, I don't know, you probably, I'm sure you can't see it. It's like felt, uh, felt padding. So you can put like uh, a phone, headphones, glasses, anything like that in there. Um, I keep my phone in my pocket, so I would just put headphones and um, glasses in there. Oh, um, yeah. Even though I wear contacts, I just keep glasses in there, just in case. Anyway, um, at the bottom it does say Surge 2. I like how the face does that. You know, it just looks nice. I don't know. Personal preference. Uh, let's go anyway. Next pouch, man. Again, all these pouches have this sick blue inside. It's really awesome. I don't know why they did that. It doesn't match. Anyway, um, yeah. Big organizer thing. I'm not going to go through everything. You can see generally a lot of good things. Hidden house back here. Um, a, vel a big Velcro. A zipper. Another smaller, no, two smaller Velcro. Pencils. Then on the flap here, there's a zipper pouch, which is nice, uh, especially because the zipper, so stuff doesn't fall out when you go like this. Um, and yeah, there's like this daisy chain here. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it looks pretty nice. You know, it's actually useful because you can like clip bags and stuff onto it. And let's go to the back. Actually, I'm not quite the back. This is a big pouch. It holds like books and stuff. I can't believe this is kind of a stupid review. I'm just like holding it back. But anyway, there you go. Nice space. And um, I believe it's like 30 liters, 32, 32 liters. There you go. It'll be in the stats, uh, the beginning. But anyway, good space. Um, it's one of the bigger North Face backpacks. Uh, you hold a lot of stuff. And then the very back, this is why they call it the surge, because it's like a surge of electricity, I guess, for electronics. And I just zip all this up. All right, at the very back, let me get to it. Wait, hang on. Okay. At the very back, there's a laptop and, um, tablet sleeves, so you put your laptop like right here, um, which is a really good pad here, and there's also a pad at the bottom, so you bash the bag down, doesn't break it. Um, right here you can fit it uh, really nice. 
and then in here is a little uh, tablet sleeve here. I think it could probably fit up to a 10 inch tablet. Uh, it doesn't have to look that big. I don't think it could hold any type of laptop. Um, I should test it with my iPad though, but I'm almost sure it fits. Um, so there's that. Here's the back. Um, basic padding here, very nice. Anyway, cool stuff. Got a lower back support thing, which I like. Um, what else? There's a whistle on the clip, um, adjustable um, chest and waist uh, belt down here, and I believe the waist belt stores away. If you don't want it, it stores away into this little thing. And yeah, got a handle obviously. Uh, the straps here, try to get a close up on that. The lighting is pretty bad where I am, but just bear with me. Um, the straps have like a like a flex vent kind of thing, I forget what it's called, um, in there, and um, it's got like this sleek overtone, uh, they're really comfortable, and they're really, like, not thick, but sturdy, I should say, <laughs> uh, which I like, and there's no, like, little slot on either side here, which is about one of the only problems I can think of, I like having one of those, for, like a metro card, um, for the subway, but there isn't any, um, and so yeah, those are the only two problems. The only two problems I can come up with for this backpack is the price and the fact that it doesn't have a little slider there. Um, now I haven't used this much yet, so we're gonna have to see just how it does for durability. But um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do great. North Face always, uh, as far as I can tell, does excellent with that. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I might take a picture of me wearing it, but I think you can find that online anyway, so it's not a big deal. Hope you enjoy.